flying city. Who'd have guessed? Forget the city. What about that huge thing? It looks like a living creature. It's an Entelechea, though not one I've spoken to. Entelechea? How did something like that swallow an entire city? That I don't know. I had absolutely no idea a city like this existed. That's because Miorzo cut off contact with the outside world ages ago. It's not gonna attack us or anything if we get closer, right? Don't worry. As long as Baul is with us, we should be allowed to enter. We better be allowed to enter. This is gonna end badly, I can tell you that right now. really are from the outside well well so it was you who called on Miorzo. and what is this how strange what curious ornaments you wear hey it's not polite to stare you know how are such children as yourselves able to come here is this monster in entelechea perhaps it's baul have you forgotten him oh you're the one who descended to the Earth some years ago, right? I believe Judith. Yes, Judith was your name. There was something you had to attend to, and... Are you about finished? We would like to meet with the Elder. Please feel free to do as you wish. He may be out for a walk again, though. Okay, so they're a bit weird. That's actually called rude. You're one to talk, Rita. All Christians are pretty much like that. Like what? Oh, easygoing, unafraid. We are dreamers and optimists, for better or worse. So is the Elder like that too? How should I put it? He's the perfect Elder for weird people. Sounds like quite a unique individual. I'm trying to be nice here. This should be interesting. That definitely went a lot better than I expected. The Critians are different than I imagined. Oh man, I totally agree. What's so different? You know, more like... I thought they'd be more like you, Judith. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm seeing far less skin than I expected. I mean, come on! So that's what the two of you were looking forward to? What are you looking at me for? I was talking about our personality! Seriously, let's have some decency here. Is it me, or are you a little disappointed too, Yuri? It's you. Ah, man. I'm not gonna say anything. Where's Baul? Oh, I wanted to see Baul. Well, it's a very good thing I actually learned how to, use, how to change the freaking person, so... Now I can actually freaking... Play as Judith in the home of the Critian. Critia. Also, apparently in the PlayStation 3 version you could play as Repeat on the field map as a default, but not anymore apparently. So, oh well. There are so many types of Blasty I've never seen before. Looks like the Critians really were the ones who created Blastia in the first place. Yes, yeah, seeing all this Blastia makes it a bit easy to believe that. It sure would be nice if we had something, if something happened upon the, upon a way to do something about your power, Miss Estelle. Really, that would be nice, but it's not working. It doesn't have a core. It's just the body. 
The city has stopped making stuff using Lassia. What you see here is what everyone threw out long ago. Why would they do that? Because it was the path we chose. It's been a long time, Elder. So it was you that so you were the cause of all this commotion outside. You've returned to us. These children are humans who are traveling with me. Hmm. This is Blastia, is it not? Yes, it's my Bodhi Blastia that I use. Hmm, I thought that Earth Dwellers had stopped using Blastia like us. Do you not use Blastia here because it uses special formula too? There are, there are no normal or special types of Blastia. Blastia is made by crushing apatheia and producing those and producing those products with and producing those pieces with technology to produce cores and through the absorption of air. Hold it. Cores are made from crushing apatheia? Indeed. That is what that, that is what the stories say. It appears apatheia was too powerful in its original form. Even without that power, it is the stone more val it is a stone more valuable than any precious gem. That is why its power was restrained from breaking into pieces and carving formulas into it, and thus its numbers have also increased. Our legends tell us of, tell us that the cores were always produced this way. A bit ironic, huh? Yeah, the apatheia that comes from the Antolokea, who hate Blastia, is necessary to make the very Blastia they hate. Maybe Pharaoh didn't tell us about the Apatheia because he felt uncomfortable talking about it, you think? Elder, there are many things I like I like to ask you about. We're trying to find out some we're trying to find out what sort of role Blastia played in ancient times. And if Blastia ever brought disaster to the world. Like we'd like to know how they might be might have been stopped. Murzo must still have some folklore, right? Perhaps you could tell us what you know. Hmm. Very well. My home would be a better place to speak with su speak of such things. Please go in and wait for me there. Hey there. Where are you going? I was in the middle of my daily walk. I'll return to my house before too long. Apatheia, Blastia, air disturbances, Antilochia. It looks like everyone's everything's connected. We might have seen more connections once he told us about the Criti and folklore. The elders' house is a large building that's different color than different color roof than the others. Gotcha. Alright, can I find a place to save? Cause I'm thinking of ending the episode or ending the session rather off here. Uh, that's a warehouse. That's probably not it. I need to find the inn. Uh. Oh, save point. Alright, well, I'm ending the session off here. Thank you all for watching. My name is Lysar Nexus, and until next time, everybody, where we will explore more of uh, Miorzo, I guess, and speak with the Elder. So until then...